What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. So two weeks ago I showed you guys exactly how I made the hardscape of this forest slash jungle style aquascape. Today I'm going to show you the first part of the planting process. Yes, the planting process is actually a two-step process. Uh, this is one of those tanks that just takes a little while to, to create. Just takes a few weeks, but I think it's definitely going to be worth the wait. So stick with me. If you didn't see the video where I built this hardscape, I'll leave a link on the top of the screen in the video description. In that video I mentioned that I want to use a lot of moss in this aquascape and normally with moss you would either tie it to the hardscape with cotton or you would just slap it on and stick it with some super glue. Uh, both these met methods work great especially if you want quick results but there is a third method which I personally really like. Uh, it only just requires a little bit of patience but it works really well especially if you have these delicate hardscapes. Basically I'm just talking about a moss dry start and this is the exact same method that I used in my 7 liter scapers tank. You know the tank with the green hills? Let me show you. So this is my 70 liter scapers tank and this is the moss that I'm talking about. So underneath these green moss pillows are basically just a bunch of black lava rocks and the moss is not um, it's not glued to these rocks, it's not tied to these rocks. I basically just did a dry start and let the moss attach itself to the rocks and then fill it up with water. So there's an entire video of how I made these moss rocks on my YouTube channel as well and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But basically the method I'm going to show you today is exactly the same so just keep watching. Alright back to the forest aquascape. So let me explain to you what I've done to this tank and why is it covered with plastic wrap. So about two weeks ago, I first filled up the tank with water before I wanted to apply the moss. Basically the, the entire hardscape was really dry and I just wanted to get the, the wood a little bit moist before I would start applying the moss. So I filled it up with water and I left it like that for about two days. After two days, I, I drained the tank again and then it was time to basically apply the moss. So for this scape, I wanted to use three different types of moss. I used some Fissidens moss, I used some Ricardia moss and one very special rare type of moss which is called Busa Falandra moss. And this one is, is really beautiful so I hope it will work really well in this aquascape. But basically I just took those three types of mosses, I placed them in a jug with some, some water and then I just blitzed it up with a stick blender. So you just get like something that looks like a moss smoothie basically. So you have some, some water that's just filled with millions of, of tiny bits of moss. So once you have that moss smoothie, basically you're ready to go. All you need is just a paintbrush and if you dip that paintbrush in that smoothie uh, you will see that there's tiny tiny bits of moss attached to your paintbrush so you can literally start painting your hardscape with that smoothie. Um, I did an extra step I also added in some soil powder so I took a little bit of aquasol placed that in my coffee grinder and, and grind it to a fine powder and I mixed that in with my smoothie so I just get like a, a bit more of a paste uh, almost like like moss mud. So then I dipped my paintbrush in that mud and I just applied all that to the to the hardscape. And the idea behind this soil is just that it would give some extra extra nutrients to the moss. So I used most of my moss paint on the on the wood and just a little bit on the rocks as well. But yeah, basically when you're done with painting, um, you just need to cover the entire aquarium with plastic wrap and then leave it like that for about three to four weeks. Uh, preferably you spray it every day with a little bit of water just to keep it, keep it nice and moist. Um, but yeah, after three to four weeks the, the moss should be self-attached to the hardscape and then we can fill it up with water. So at the time of filming it's been exactly two weeks since I painted the hardscape with the moss and you can't really see much yet. On a few spots you see some, some new growth but yeah, if you haven't seen it before it's impossible to, to see a difference. But I'm sure with another two weeks this will be completely ready, ready to fill up. And you don't really need to see that much growth, you just need to make sure that it's attached, you know. If you wrap it completely and you spray it every day and you keep the light on for 10 to 12 hours then it should definitely be attached after three to four weeks 
And you might be wondering why go through all that trouble, why not just tie it with cotton thread, why not just super glue it, isn't that a lot easier? So let me explain to you why I think that this is such a great method. Um, if I would use cotton thread in this with this style of hardscape, first of all it would be impossible to, to maneuver the cotton thread around because there's so many branches sticking out. And also because the entire hardscape is fixed, it's all glued together, I would only be able to tie most to the branches and not to the rocks itself. And I kind of want both. And to get the same effect that I'm after with, with super glue, I would literally have to cover all of the branches with super glue, which will probably be very messy. And it will also probably leave a lot of uh, white marks after I fill it up with water. So I think this is the fourth aquascape now that I'm doing with this moisturizer method. I mean, I did the 7 liter scape tank, I did the 20 liter cube, and I think I've done the 10 liter cube two, two times now. So this should be number four. So I really like this method and I really think it gives a very natural look as well. And the good thing about this method is that you, you don't really need a lot of moss because you, you blend it, because you blitz it up into a million tiny pieces. Like a little bit of moss goes a long way. I'm still not sure what the best method is in terms of making that smoothie. Um, this is the second time that I'm doing it with the mix of aqua soil. Uh, like I said, to, to give some more nutrients to the, to the moss. But I'm still not sure if that is really a huge benefit. In the past I've also done, actually done it with yogurt. And the idea behind the yogurt is that the yogurt would help prevent mold. But I actually had a lot more mold with yogurt than I have without, without yogurt. Yeah, I think you could also just use it with just moss and water, nothing else. I would advise to not use too much water, try to use just enough water so you can blend it properly. Because if you have too much water then it will just then the moss will just flush flush away everywhere. Alright, so that's it. Just a little update on the forest style aquascape and a little introduction into a moss dry start. So let me know guys what you think of this method. Would you consider using it yourself? Or would you stick to super glue or cotton thread? So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.